did you get your first pair of boots ever or do you just have a new pair of boots and you have no idea what to do next? That's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna talk about six things to do after you get a new pair of boots. So let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya and then I'll be on my way. If you have just gotten your first pair of boots, maybe you don't know what to do or if they even fit right. So I wanted to break this down and talk about six things that you should be thinking about doing sooner rather than later on some of these, uh, especially for number one. Make sure they fit. Make sure they fit right. Remember, you gotta have a boot fit snug at the widest part of the foot, right? Snug on the instep. And you also have to have some heel slip, about a finger's width, maybe two, and that the instep is snug and that you're snug around the widest part of the foot, but not too tight around the toes. So if your boot is feeling like that, you probably got a good fit. And if you have too big of a size, then when that boot breaks in, it's just gonna get sloppy and sloppy and sloppy and you're not gonna really like wearing it. So you gotta make sure that you have a snug fit at the widest part of the foot and at the instep so that it breaks in well and you keep that boot going for decades. Speaking of keeping a boot going for decades, the second thing that you're gonna wanna do when you first get a new pair of boots is condition it. As soon as you get it out of the box, you decide to keep it, you know that it fits, you're not gonna send it back, condition it right then and there. If it's an exotic, use an exotic conditioner or just go with, uh, with, with Bic 4, as long as it's not a distressed exotic or leather. So Big Four is probably the best one to have on hand because it pretty much can be used on anything. And if it is a distressed leather, you will need a different conditioner because Big Four will ruin the whole vibe and texture of that distressed leather. And they make a special distressed leather conditioner for that. You're gonna want something a little bit different for suede and rough outs. Make sure that uh, you condition them right out of the box because you don't know how long they've been sitting someplace. If they're a used pair of boots that look new, they might have been in somebody's attic or in somebody's basement or something like that. You wanna make sure you clean them and condition them. Even if they look new, condition them right away. And if you get them from a company, a business, they send them to you. Uh, you get them through Cavenders, Yeehaw Cowboy, or from Ariat.com, condition them. You don't know how long they've been sitting in the warehouse or anything like that. So make sure that you get those boots off on the right foot. <laughs> if they are leather outsoles, you're gonna want to scuff them up a little bit I'm on the bottom. You got a new leather sole here. It is so slippy. You, you take them out to the asphalt, to the dirt, to the stones, and you kick the asphalt, the brick, the whatever, so that you get a little bit of grip on the bottom there because that's how you're gonna get more traction on the earth when you're walking around is by putting that grip into the leather. If you don't do that, you might slip. You have a higher chance of slipping and uh, that's no fun. You don't wanna do that on a rubber outsole because you're, then you're just wearing away the rubber for no reason at all. You already have traction. That's the reason why you got a rubber outsole. You don't need to do that. So that's number three. And we're moving on to number four here. Be sure to stand up straight and pull your shoulders back. Because if you don't, you might feel a little bit like, oh, this is kind of, like you're used to just sort of standing up straight with no heel at all, like on sneakers or anything, or something like that, and you might feel like you're leaning forward a little bit. Think about it and stand and stand up straighter and pull your shoulders back. And when you do that, man, you'll feel great. You feel like you're on top of the world. And that's why people really like wearing cowboy boots for one, is because uh, it makes them stand up straight, straighter a lot of times. It sure does with me. You had to own it and when you own it, you feel incredible. That's why people say that uh, cowboy boots give them confidence is because it forces you to have good posture or else you'll feel 
horrible. The fifth thing that you're gonna wanna do after you get your boots on and you know they fit, you conditioned them, you scuffed up those leather soles so that you're not gonna slip, you stand up straight, pull your shoulders back, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is go for a walk. <laughs> Just walk. Just go someplace. Uh, just go someplace in town, get the groceries, go see a movie, go do, you know, post office, go for a walk in the woods, around the block. It doesn't matter. Just go for a walk in them. The last thing that you want to do is go straight to work in those boots and have to be in them all day and have something just be a little off with them. So make sure for your own, <laughs> for your own health and your own feet's sake is just, just go for a walk so that you know what to expect. And uh, once you do that, and you love them, this is number six, do not be afraid to wear them often. Guys, so many people out there have a pair of cowboy boots just sitting in the back of their closet, or they might have like a special day of the month or a special day of the week where they wear cowboy boots. I'm saying if you got them, wear them every single day. Just go for it, why not? There's no reason why not. Just wear them and wear them often. You will love it. You know, give them a chance. So many people might feel a little bit unsure or insecure because the cowboy boots aren't really popular in the area where they live. Uh, a lot of things aren't popular everywhere. Uh, do you want to be like everybody else? Probably not or else you wouldn't have thought to buy the cowboy boots in the first place if you're in an area where they don't wear them regularly. So just wear them and don't be afraid to wear them as often as possible. Those are my six. Congrats on your new boots. Be sure to condition soon. Scuff those soles and stand up straight and you'll be feeling great, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'll be feeling great.